Hello everyone and welcome back to your Wednesday Scarlet Scoop. I'm Ariana Bernard and let's get right into today's top stories. A male OSU staff member was arrested by university police after allegedly grabbing a male student's genitals on the Oval late last week. A Franklin County Municipal Court affidavit states Jonathan Lidheiser Stoddard, a 34-year-old graduate teaching associate, admitted to university police that he did grab the student. The victim reported that he did not know Lidheiser Stoddard at the time of the incident. Lidheiser Stoddard was charged with sexual imposition, a third-degree misdemeanor, and is scheduled to be arraigned Friday morning. For daily updates on this story, be sure to visit thelantern.com. You may have noticed some signs around campus asking students to keep off grassy areas. What's the reason for this? Well, Lantern TV spoke with university spokesman Dan Hedman to find out. There's one near 18th Avenue. Obviously, there's construction going on in there to upgrade uh, utilities and, and repave that road. And I think long term, it'll be beneficial for everyone. Um, uh, but in the interim, obviously, it creates some travel logistic issues. And so there's signage posted to try to direct people the right way. Um, both to get them there faster, but also to maintain the area and for safety reasons. And so uh, whenever there's construction area, we like to put up signage, direct people the right way to go. Uh, in particular in that area, you'll notice there's uh, kind of a dirt pathway now. Um, and that's just um, because the sidewalk, I guess, doesn't get people directly there. So the area was cordoned off and there's signage recommending people use the sidewalks. And so our, our landscaping crew does a great job of trying to rehabilitate that area. So they recently planted grass seed and just roped off the area. And we're just asking folks to stay off it while we get that grass to, to grow back up. It'll probably be that way through the, the winter months. And then hopefully it's, it's nice and, and lush again. A mental health statement will now be available for professors at Ohio State to include on their course syllabi after years of bureaucratic failure regarding its creation and implementation. The University Senate voted unanimously to pass a resolution created by undergraduate student government earlier this year requesting that professors incorporate a disclaimer on OSU's mental health resources at the bottom of each syllabus. The statement will include OSU's counseling and consultation service address, phone number, and website. For more on this story, as well as comments from USG President Gerard Basala, visit thelantern.com and click on Campus. A study from the Public Interest Research Group reported textbook prices have risen more than 73% since 2006, meaning the face value of new textbooks has risen faster than the price of most retail goods, healthcare, and even college tuition. According to the study, which was released earlier this year, the market for undergraduate textbooks is a $1.5 billion industry. The College Board recommends students budget almost $1,300 for textbooks and other course materials each year. We spoke with a few students on campus to hear their thoughts on textbook prices and where they buy their books from. I didn't want to buy every textbook after I realized how expensive they were. So um, there is one class where I didn't buy a textbook and it's not benefiting me very well, but it's still so expensive that like I'd rather just look for resources online that I don't have to pay for. Um, another textbook I ordered off Amazon Prime that was used because it's a lot cheaper than Barnes & Noble. And then there's another textbook that I ordered, I got from Barnes & Noble that was relatively expensive. So I'm looking to sell it for next semester. I feel like the ones that I, the classes that I have and the textbooks that I had to buy, the prices are kind of okay. Um, but that's because I know that the professors are conscious of textbook prices and they specifically chose the ones that are a lot cheaper. That's it for today on Scarlet Scoop. For more campus news, tune into Scarlet Scoops throughout the week and also be sure to visit thelantern.com. Go like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. Take care and thanks for watching.